the five major or basic elements or characteristics of cooperative learning. Positive interdependence. Students must fully participate and put 100% effort to achieving the group's output. In cooperative learning, each learning group member has a task and role and are, and are responsible for their own personal learning and that of their group. In cooperative learning, learning group members help, assist, encourage, and support each other. Team members are obliged to rely on one another to achieve their goal. And each group member has to make a unique contribution to the joint effort. In cooperative learning, the success of the group lies not only in the contribution of the individual members, but to the collective efforts of all members of the learning group. Second, interpersonal or social or collaborative skills. Social skills that must be taught in order for successful cooperative learning to occur. So very important uh, element or characteristics of cooperative learning is not only learning the lesson or the topic being introduced, but also to teach students to develop okay, interpersonal, social, and collaborative skills. In co collaborative or cooperative learning, students are encouraged to communicate no, with their other members of the learning group and of course no, to develop uh, different skills, no, social skills no, like conflict management. So this is to ensure that the, the group is able to achieve what it aims to achieve. No? Uh, in any uh, group activities, conflict no, uh, is something that uh, is bound to happen. So very important no, as part of the process no, is to teach no, uh, the children how to manage conflict. So in cooperative learning, students do not only learn about the topic or the subject being introduced, but also develop and uh, learn different social and uh, collaborative or interper interpersonal skills. Third, face-to-face -face promotive interaction. In cooperative learning, the learning group members uh, promote or try to support each other. No? So the idea of cooperative learning is to help each other. So it's not only uh, competition. So the emphasis of cooperative learning is not to compete with the other members of the group, but to cooperate with the members of the learning group. In cooperative learning, students explain to one another no, what they have or are learning and assist no, one another with understanding and completion of their tasks or assignments. So the group members uh, should remember that the success of the, the group rests upon the contribution of the rest of the members of the group. No, it's uh, either the group, no, either swim or sing together. Okay, so in cooperative learners, learning, no, the learners believe that they are linked together and they cannot su succeed unless the other members of the group succeed, no, and vice versa. No, if the group cannot succeed without also the contribution of each member of the learning group. Fourth, group processing. Group processing occurs when group members okay, reflect on which members' actions were helpful and make decisions about, about the, the action to continue or change. Uh, in my class, for example, um, I facilitated the group processing. So at the end of the module, I would uh, call for a meeting, an online meeting with uh, members of the class and ask them about uh, challenges or difficulties that they have encountered. But this can also be done by the group leader. But um, normally, at least in my class, no, uh, I facilitated the processing no, of the experience. So uh, group processing is really part of the cooperative learning. So it's not, it's not enough that the, the 
the students no are able to comply the with the requirements or learn um, social skills but at the same time no they also appreciate no the importance of the process or the experience so very important uh, element no of cooperative learning is the processing of the experience no um, processing of experience can also be uh, can can be in a form of a reflection no? so the teacher can ask uh, questions no or ask the students about their experience fifth heterogeneous groupings or heterogeneous group so in cooperative learning it's very important that the, the members of the group no are coming from different uh, levels of background or academic uh, levels no so ideally for example if the class is composed of uh, male and female no so the group should have an equal more or less no equal number of male and female and of course no very important no the academic level no of the students should be considered so ideally uh, like in my case i, I give a, a quiz or you can also give no a diagnosis ideally no you should give a diagnostic test no to determine the understanding of the students about the 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 course or the subject matter no and from there you can you can group them based on their understanding of the the subject matter okay as a result of the diagnostic test okay and of course number six no finally individual and group accountability very important no in cooperative learning no that each member of the the group or each student must demonstrate mastery no not only the mastery of the content being studied no but at the same time no to ensure that the other members of the group also learn and uh, they also study their assigned topic no the performance of each uh, individual member no is assessed and the result given back to the group no uh, as part of uh, uh, assessing no their performance in this way uh, students no will be able to to uh, review and evaluate their own uh, performance their contribution no and how well they have contributed to the attainment of the uh, the group uh, output or task no so very important no uh, elements of the cooperative learning again going back no so there are five basic or major uh, elements or characteristics of cooperative learning first is positive interdependence so each member of the group no is uh, not only dependent on learning his assigned task but at the same time they are also um, helping no other members of the group no so they are actually not uh, not just uh, helping in a way but at the same time they are also helping from the other members of the group so there is a what you call a positive interdependence no they are interdependent no uh, to with one another so that's the the idea second is interpersonal cognitive or social skills no in cooperative learning no the the intention or the desire no, is not only to to understand the topic or lesson being introduced but at the same time no to to develop no uh, interpersonal or social and collaborative skills among the members of the group or the students and students also learn no uh, from face to face promotive interaction so the idea is uh, we encourage no um, interaction or a conversation among the members of the the group so as part of the procedure no uh, of the cooperative learning is to schedule the time where members of the learning group can sit together and discuss and report uh, about what they have studied or learned and fourth is group processing again as i mentioned this can be done uh, by the by the group no they try to uh, process the experience and discuss about uh, how they can improve no uh, in in their um, in how they contributed no to the attainment of the task assigned or the teacher also can can process the experience no either uh, 
do it uh, like in my case I'm doing an online no consultation no to ask or clarify some issues at the same time um, to to ask to them no to to reflect on their experience so it can be uh, online uh, consultation and group processing or it can be through a uh, uh, reflection question okay fifth is of course heterogeneous groupings no very important no in all types of cooperative learning whether it's a uh, formal base group okay or home group no very important no that uh, members of the group are uh, are coming from different uh, levels no uh, if you have for example uh, a quiet class no the the group should have an equal more or less number of uh, male or female members and uh, in terms of academic uh, uh, achievement no, level of academic performance um, the group should have uh, good students who have already developed mastery of the lesson and those who have difficulty no so but very important in heterogeneous grouping no uh, it is important to note that uh, the groupings no uh, I benefit not only those who are struggling but even the at those who are achieving already you know so the experience actually you no know, uh, is helpful you no know, is beneficial not only for those students who are struggling but even for those who are achieving students and finally individual and group activity or accountability so in cooperative learning you no know, it's very important uh, that you remember always you no know, that you are not only accountable to your own learning. Yes, it's true, no? Uh, each member is accountable or responsible for his own learning. But at the same time, you're also as accountable to the performance or the, the out, outcome or the workings of the, the group. So those are the six basic elements or major elements or characteristics of cooperative learning.